Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Connor. With me today, I have Blake. Hey, everybody. And we are starting a story in the Degrassi section called Sexting by Amazed with Life. And this involves a band that Blake knows far too well and has made sure we know far too well, Blood on the Dance Floor. Yeah. I used to be mm. really into... Uh... I didn't really hang out in any particular place. I know it was, like, a popular thing on 4chan to, like, just talk about, like, all the shitty MySpace artists. So you had groups right. like Blood on the Dance Floor and um, um, Millionaires. Remember them? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Good old yeah. Millionaires. So th that that's sort of world of staring at bad music, like um the Blackout Band uh -huh. that I was not a part of. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're, coming, we're coming at all parts of this a little late. We're coming at Degrassi. Blood on the dance floor, yeah, we're picking through the scraps here, but yeah, yeah. this is sexting, so Blake, can you read me the description? Sure. I want to fuck you hard. I want to feel you deep. I want to rock your body. I want to taste your sweet. Actual lyrics. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, I presume those are lyrics. Yeah, to sexting. <laughs> Which mm. uh, I actually haven't heard, but uh, apparently that's what it says here, the rest of the description. What happens when Eli catches Claire singing to sexting by Blood on the dance floor? Uh, presumably, well, presumably he just looks down with his eyes closed, shakes his head back and forth, and leaves the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll start chapter one with Epov. 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 <laughs> Which I guess means Eli's POV. I don't know who Eli is. I was walking to Claire's house. We had been back together for about three months, and we were still going strong. When I got to her house, there were no cars in the driveway, so I knew her mom wasn't home, but I could faintly hear music, mm. so I knew she was here. Uh, well, uh, all right, so you, you used the word, you you, you used those back-to-back -back and didn't, you think they're, you, so you really think they're spelled the same? Because I would think that if they ended with, so I knew she was here, they would realize that hear music was wrong. I also knew she wouldn't hear me if I knocked, so I just walked in. I knew she wouldn't mind. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever you can if tell yourself. If knocked, yeah. <laughs> As I was walking up the stairs into her room, I picked up a few of the lyrics of the song she was listening to. They were just lying on the floor. <laughs> a few, yeah, a few of some of them I couldn't, I couldn't understand. Yeah. Uh, Don't say what my thumbs can do. I know that's not how the song goes, but it's all caps bold. Now it's time to use my tongue on you. Show me what you got on my LCD. Let's get down to it so you can get down on me. I feel like it would be a lot more tolerable if it sounded like that. Actually, no, then it would just... <sighs> I, actually, yeah. it would just pretty much be the same thing as Attila. <laughs> Another awesome mm, band. Right. And so, actually, it right. probably wouldn't be better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was standing there dumb founded. <laughs> founded upon dumb. Yeah. On this dumb we stand. She couldn't see me, but I could see her. She was dancing around the blood on the dance floor. I didn't even know she knew what half this stuff meant. What? You're, yeah. You're, I presume you're both teens, because it's Degrassi. Yeah. So, like, she knows what this means, dude. He's like, oh, when I started dating this mental child, mm -hmm. I never knew she'd listen to such sexual music. Like, what the fuck, man? What's an LCD? All I have is my phone screen now. What? There used to be separate monitors just for computers? What's a computer? <laughs> then she started singing, and I nearly lost it. Why, oh, why did she choose the most provocative line of the song to sing? Okay. All right, yeah, and then, so it's just the line from the description. Very, very provocative. Yeah. I want to fuck you hard. I want to feel you deep. I want to rock your body. I want to taste your sweet. Yeah, <laughs> very provocative. It's just I know yeah. su subtle innuendo in those yeah. lyrics. You know, if you just listen to them, you'd think that it was about taking your dog for a walk. But then right, you, but right. then you really pay attention and you think about it in context. And you're like, oh, I say, pretty provocative, right? Suggestive, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just stood there watching her until she sang. You know you want to lick this. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's when I showed myself because yes, I did want to lick that. Yeah, I know you want to lick that. I know you want to lick that, lick that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do what most guys do in movies or whatever, where they knock on the door and pretend they didn't hear anything. No, I didn't have the patience for that. I ran, <laughs> yeah, the five seconds of patience. 
I ran yeah. to the room and had clear up against the wall in record time. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I, I thought you sounded creepy earlier when you were like, "Oh, I did not," because I, I I knew yeah. she wouldn't mind. I knew that no matter how much she said she did mind, she really didn't. I knew. I did my diving force maneuver, and she hit the wall in record time. But now you're like straight up like a rapist. <laughs> yeah, basically. She gasped and was about to ask something, probably how long I had been watching her, but before she could, my mouth was on hers. I didn't start off slow or innocent. I forced her mouth open with my tongue and went exploring in her sweet cavern. Okay, so you didn't do what guys do in some movies. You did what guys do in other movies. Yeah. And also, yeah, this is creepy. Yeah, no, I mean, this is straight up assault. Listen to this. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) She started pulling back, but I held her still. I needed this. Oh, yeah. I caught her singing a provocative song, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, officer, I'm sorry, judge, I just couldn't yeah. stop myself. Yeah, and the judge is like, well, to be fair, it was blood on the dance floor. Who can, <laughs> yeah, who can yeah. hold themselves back when listening to such sexual lyrics? It's, it's audio, yeah. uh... Anyone goes wild when listening to that band. It's audio, it's audio aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of a sick band name, actually. Yeah. A, a more, a, a more elegant, uh... Right, right. Yeah. It'd be like an electronica band. Yeah. I mean, they would still make all of their lyrics about sex, but it would be, uh, like, it would be so subtle that you wouldn't even realize. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If it weren't for the name, you just, you would think it was all about walking the dog. Right. I fucking needed her. Mm. When she eventually got out of my grip, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Yeah, that really makes it sound like she was trying. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, you... you Whatever. Not even when I let her go, but when she finally got out of my grip. Yeah. She stood there trying to catch the breath I had stolen from her. I wasn't about to be standing there and not be kissing her in the state of mind that was torture. Jeez, dude. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I started trailing sweet open mouth kisses down her neck. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Which didn't really help with the whole catching her breath thing. Uh... Does she breathe Uh, through her skin like a a freaking toad? (laughs) Maybe. But did I care? Hell no. Uh, I thought it was fucking sexy how she was panting all because of me. Jesus Christ. You see, that's why I always think it's about walking a dog. Because people are panting and dogs pant. Dogs pant, yeah. It's very confusing. She started pushing on my chest and I stopped. Yeah, no means no, but only after five (laughs) minutes of forced kissing, apparently. Yeah, yeah. No matter how bad I wanted her, I wasn't about to take advantage of her. <laughs> oh, so all that previous wasn't taking advantage of no, her. No, because he knew that she wanted it. <laughs> right, right. She was singing Blood on the Dance Floor. She obviously wanted to be suddenly Kissed. attacked, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I was like that. It's like I wasn't about to take advantage of her. It, it's it, it's like uh, in Angst Munch. When Drax is like, oh, don't, I, I'm sorry, you know, I can't sleep with you. I'm married to Pinkie Pie. It's like, well, that would be noble if you didn't sleep with everyone else first. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I won't, like this guy's like, I won't take advantage of her after taking advantage of her. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, now I can be noble because I've already, I've already gotten my, my joy out of this. If she wanted me to stop, I would. <sighs> yeah. After you already started. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um. What brought all this on? <laughs> she asked. That, that's like something you say when you come home and you find your like your your spouse has like redecorated the basement as part of their midlife crisis. They're right. Like what brought on all this? <laughs> she asked, just a little confused. Then my clicked Asher shit. What? <laughs> uh, that was it, a little fast, it, a little sudden. Then my click ash your shit. What? Uh, I, I, okay. I, pardon me, you think maybe you could repeat that? <laughs> yeah. Because, like, what? <laughs> yeah. What, what did you just say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Claire, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, like, attack you like that. Like, please say you forgive me. I was nearly crying. I can't believe I did that. God, I'm suck a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> suck a fuck that's a yard sard right there <laughs> oh man that, that uh, is, it's also suck a clish yeah suck a clish whoa Eli calm down I'm not mad I enjoyed it what's wrong with you <laughs> pardon me you think maybe you could repeat that <laughs> it's not I'm not mad I enjoyed it it is I'm not mad that I enjoyed it yeah 
though I probably should be mad that it well, happened. I probably should be. Yeah. Uh, she questioned. I looked up to her. I didn't realize that during my apology, I'd gotten on my knees and literally begged for her forgiveness. Why? I mean, I Stupid. guess it's I guess it's good that you're penitent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she grabbed my arm and tried to pull me up, but she couldn't do it by herself. So I helped and got off my sorry ass. <laughs> wow. That's like you insulted her without even trying. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah. I didn't even think about the whole Asher thing. I'm so sorry. I don't know Degrassi. I don't know Degrassi. She just kind of looked at me and then cracked a smile and started laughing. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know why she was laughing, but she just started laughing and wouldn't stop. <laughs> I was confused. I'm going to she... take your ass to court for so much money. Little did you know I have a camera in the corner of my room. Got that fucking Xfinity security. Your ass is Degrassi. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I was just confused, and she just kept laughing until I grabbed her arms and answered. <gasps> and, and asked, are you done? Uh, it, it, what is, this person has so many personality flips. First, they're like this like crazy rapist person. And then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And they're like, are you done being happy, bitch? <laughs> well, she's just like laughing maniacally like the Joker over here, and, and he has to like grab her and bring her back to reality or else she'd have laughed forever. Yeah. <laughs> It'd been one of those screen wipes where she's laughing and then it zooms in and zooms back out and now she's in a mental asylum in a straitjacket. Yeah. It shows her laughing and then it cuts to a card and says 10 hours later. Yeah. And then it cuts back to her and she's still laughing. <laughs> ha 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 ha. She laughed for a few more seconds and then nodded. Good, now you can explain to me what was funny about what I just said. I said, and she looked at me and answered. <laughs> okay. Eli, I was laughing because I'm over that. I've been over it. He's in jail and I now he can't hurt me or anyone else. It's over and done with. I'm over it. Wait a minute. So did Asher, like, assault her before? Maybe Asher was... Asher's some Degrassi character that, like, assaulted her before, I guess. Wait, so, uh, wait a minute. So that makes this guy's apology useless. Because it seems like the only reason he's apologizing is because Asher assaulted her previously. Oh, shit. If I knew you'd been assaulted before, I maybe wouldn't have. Yeah. I, I, I prefer, like, fresh victims. Like, what the fuck? Right, right. <laughs> that don't know what assault is. Like, what in the entire world? Yeah. I still don't know why she's laughing, though. And she started cracking up again. This time I was laughing with her. Well, I felt <laughs> stupid. It's like, oh, he's like, oh, you mean I didn't have to apologize for assaulting you because you don't care about being assaulted anymore? <laughs> God. What a wacky situation. So tell me, why did you come in my room and attack me? Oh, okay, so I feel like every time we make a joke, the story turns around and is ta making it serious. Because yeah, yeah. in the beginning, where it's like, I just walked in, I knew she wouldn't mind. I uh, I joked that the person was like really creepy for saying that. And then uh, they got super creepy. And here we're joking and being like, oh, wow, yeah, so <laughs> the only reason uh, yeah. he cares about assaulting is because she was previously assaulted. It turns out it's true. She knows it's an attack. And... But she's okay with being attacked now because she just doesn't care anymore. Right, right. What the fuck? <laughs> I never watched Degrassi and now I really don't want to. <laughs> she asked and I yeah. smirked. No, a better question is, why didn't you ever tell me you listened to Blood on the Dance Floor? She blushed and my smirk grew. Yeah. Smirking intensifies. She was so cute. Yeah, well, don't even answer her question. Just ignore that and <laughs> make it... Make it about blood on the dance floor. <laughs> why did why did you feel this masculine urge to basically attack me? Uh, you know, and then he's gonna ignore that and go, Why were you listening to Blood on the Dance Floor? Yeah. Like, fuck you, dude, answer her question. Yeah. And then the author, uh I am not continuing this. I don't really know where this came from. It just kind of popped into my head. See a Hope psychiatrist. <laughs> See a fucking psychiatrist to me is with life. You just walk yeah. down the street. It's just like, hmm, what if this one character sexually assaulted another one? And afterwards they're both like, ha it's okay. I don't care. 
I don't own blood on the dance floor or Degrassi. I wish I owned Monroe, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Winky face. That's well, not how his name is spelled anyway. Well, they did continue it. So, we're going to have to head on to Chapter 2, Concert. Con- oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. In the Walmart yeah, parking it's... lot, it's blood on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's Eli's point of view again. I was racing to Claire's house. I had gotten us blood on the dance floor tickets. Ever since I found out she liked them, she has she has been as going has been going go on. Yeah, has been going on nonstop <laughs> about how she wanted to go to one of their concerts, but Allie wouldn't go with her because she didn't like them and her mom wouldn't let her go alone. Okay. Teenage problems. Yeah. Claire, Claire, um, open the door. Hurry. I screamed while pounding on the door. <laughs> I heard running, and then my blue-eyed beauty was at the door, looking oh, at a breath. God. Guess she ran from upstairs to here. <laughs> don't give a fuck. Wow. <laughs> don't give a fuck. Don't even end the... Don't even have end punctuation. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Is everything okay? She asked frantically. I guess I scared her with all the yelling. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Yes, everything's Dude. fine, but we need to go inside because I got a surprise, and I know you're going to scream. Uh, yeah, usually when you come over, there's reasons to scream. I know you're going to scream, <laughs> yeah. and I would rather not have your neighbors think I tried to hurt you. Yeah, You'd ra- I'd rather not have the neighbors know I tried to hurt you. <laughs> Jeez. One, uh, you can count on her overreacting that much. That's crazy. But, yeah. like, two, like, yeah. stop over-explaining it. Just... No. Move in. Also, this isn't the end of him speaking. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Her <laughs> eyes widened, and I could see curiosity in them, so she shook her head yes, and we went inside. Before uh, she could ask, e- I... Eli, why are you narrating what I'm doing? Yeah, because I know you so well. <laughs> Before she could ask, I held up one finger, seemingly for her to wait a moment. I pulled out earplugs from my pocket and put them... What the From fuck? my pocket put them in and pulled out the tickets and handed them to her. I could still hear her screaming, even with the earplugs in. Is Degrassi like Canadian anime? What is this? What? Why? Are, why is this so over the top all of a sudden? Yeah. Ah! And then she was on me, kissing me like crazy. Her tongue was begging <laughs> for entrance to my mouth, and I gladly let her in. She had me pushed up against the wall, and I was about to turn us around, but we heard someone clear their throat, so we stopped. And then we started kissing again. I mean, it was just Jake. <laughs> it was just Jake, you know. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you two totally can just start like knocking shit down with your wild makeout session in the freaking kitchen. Yeah, that's totally cool and respectful. Oh, you know, don't mind me. I'm just scarred for life. He yelled and then walked to the kitchen. We didn't stop, even when he started throwing popcorn at us, trying to make us stop. What? Is it okay? How was that? The I thought Degrassi was like down to earth. Yeah. You know, if the popcorn yeah, isn't working, you could, you know, try throwing a blender at them. A toaster. Right, right. Maybe pick up the whole microwave and just smash it over Eli's head. And then it's yeah, like it's yeah. like a cartoon, like a Looney Tunes thing where the door opens. And yeah, he's apparently like, oh. this is Looney Tunes. Yeah, you just smash it over his head and then they open the door and he's just like smiling in there with little birds flying around his head. Toss the entire refrigerator on them and then open the door and they're still passionately making out inside. Yeah. <laughs> It was Saturday night, the night of the concert, and man was clear exited. Oh, <laughs> she she checked out. I, I love that typo. Exited. Yeah. I'm so exited. <laughs> Eli, what should I wear? I rolled my eyes for what seems like the thousandth time that night. God. I don't know, Claire, but if you don't hurry up and decide, we're going to be late. She sighed and hurried. Finally, she decided on a red and black plaid miniskirt and a black blood on the dance floor t-shirt. Oh, never wear the band merch to the concert. Come on. Yeah. And we were on our way. We arrived, amazingly, on time. Gave the man our tickets uh-huh. and luck was on our side. We got to sit in the front. That's, uh, not how, that's not how concert tickets work. Either it's general seating and everyone else cleared out, and or not enough people were there because it's a blood on the dance floor t- uh, uh, concert, or it was sectionalized seating, and you bought tickets for the front. Exactly. And so luck was not on your side. E- you buying the tickets up there was on your side. Yeah. Even even the smallest venues I've ever seen concerts in have some sort of reserved seating for the front row. Like, yeah, I, I've yeah. never been to a concert where it's only general admission. Well, I have. 
You know, like those real hardcore shows where people want to get right up to the front. Oh, yeah. And like, like Stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, like Blood on the Dance Floor, where you want to get right up to the front and mosh with them as they play their songs. Yeah. I don't know. But you don't get to sit up there. It's standing room up there. I do think it's interesting that you think that they play instruments. <laughs> I, you know what I mean. Yeah, as, as they play their, like, Fruity Loops beats over the PA okay, system. Okay, they can still rap play over. a song if they hit a button on a... On a laptop, ha ha, making a joke at all the DJs and electronica people out there. Yeah, except I'm, I, I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's probably how Blood on the Dance Floor concert works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You can find figure out when they come to that sixth rate venue near you. Yeah, like I said, you know, you know, they'll set up like you know how around Fourth of July they start setting up those fireworks tents and like Walmart parking lots. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like they, after the 4th of July, they use that tent for the concert. Do you think bands ever go back to playing house shows? Or once they hit a certain point, they'll always take whatever, like, festival or tent kind of experience, even if it's the most pathetic ones. I don't know. I can't even imagine where Blown on the Dance Floor would perform these days. Because, like, like, seeing kids aren't a thing anymore, right? Like, they just don't exist. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, there's always new teenagers. Davi Vanity know? is the world's last scene kid, and he's like thirty something years <laughs> old. <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll look it up after this. Yeah, but let's see. Uh, um, thirty mins into the concert, Claire okay. was crazy. They sang Candyland, <laughs> and Davi winked at her, or at least in her direction. He was looking at everyone in that section. But whatever. God forbid I go through a paragraph without being condescending to my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, Eli. Why are you so condescending to her? Why are you such a piece of shit, Eli? Can't she have a good time? Yeah, and it's just like, it's like, she th- stupid broad thinks that Davi winked at her. <laughs> yeah. Broads. And she went absolutely insane. Well, she already, well, she was already crazy. Now she's <laughs> insane. She, yeah, she went fucking wild. Yeah. Then the music stopped. Then the sentence stopped. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to do things a bit different tonight. We are going to pick the cutest girl in the crowd and have her come up here and sing and dance with us. (laughs) Oh, you were so close. A little sing and dance. Uh, Davi Vanity said, and Claire went wild. Uh, I believe you mean Davi Insanity. (laughs) Well, no, this was before. Yeah, before he snoop-lined himself. Yeah, so Divina said Claire went wild. She grabbed my hand and asked me if I would put her on my shoulder. So I did, and Jay saw her and smirked and said, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. So that, that was the other member, right? Jay. Yeah. Yep, Jayvon Monroe, or whatever his name is. Um, <laughs> At least it wasn't Jason Derulo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Imagine Jason Derulo joining Blood on the Dance Floor. I don't know if I could live in a world where that happened. <laughs> <laughs> we just we released a video. It's we're sorry to announce that Blake, upon hearing the news that Jason Derulo joined Blood on the Dance Floor, threw himself <laughs> off just, a cliff. He cringed to death. Yeah, <laughs> his his he head lived, his head imploded from cringe. He had living rigor mortis for a split second from cringing too hard. <laughs> like I, I cringed so hard, I just sort of folded up into a black hole. He cringed so hard, he folded back, and we thought leprosy came back. <laughs> I just collapsed into myself. <laughs> yeah, all of his bones disappeared and he just collapsed into a pile of skin and organs. <laughs> How about that one, Davi? Do you think she's cute? I mean, I like guys and I still think she's fucking sexy. What the fuck? You know what? I, this actually sounds like very realistic dialogue. Yeah, please, yeah. Is one. that true to form? Is Jay always like, thank you for the interview question. Now I'm super gay, <laughs> but I will answer that yeah, we are doing fine. Uh, we have a new album out, and I'm looking for any dudes out there who are looking to shack up after the concert. Yeah, exactly. I I, I guarantee you, probably. I guarantee you, probably. That's that's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's like the missing um Blink One Eighty Two. Literally, album. probably. Yeah. I guarantee yeah. you, probably. And Claire nearly fainted when Davi looked at her and agreed. He walked over to her and grabbed her and brought her on stage. He walked through the crowd. And grabbed her and brought her on stage. Okay, your name. Uh, uh, okay, your name. Oh, he said, and she shakily replied. I guess uh, yeah, did, so, did she replied this. Yeah, apparently she did. <laughs> God, this yeah, this person's <laughs> not good at uh whatever. But it's supposed to be Davity, yeah. so da- a Davi. Yeah, 
not D- Davi Vanity, aka Davi Insanity, is just going to change his name to Davity after this. Oh, <laughs> I'm blue, Davity Davadai. Davity Davadai, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty name. Now Jay and I are going to sing two songs and then you're going to join us in the last one, if you uh, want to. I like how the voices that we gave them, they sound more like 303 than uh, Bloom on the Dance I don't know how Davi Vanity sounds. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah, exactly. His voice is like just a carcinogen. I'll ju- I want people to make it through the video. <laughs> you remember 303, right? Uh, I don't, I mean, I didn't listen to them a whole time. We're not, I, I don't want, I don't want to look it up right now. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to bring in as many like references to shitty bands as I can. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh That's shit, dude, thing. while we're on it, remember Broken Side? Oh, yeah, Broken Side. Remember, like, Hollywood Undead? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember Hollywood Undead. Dude, I, I heard, like, Hollywood Undead is still touring with, like, Papa Roach. Yeah. And I'm like, Remember uh, Snow Ride's Poison Bite? <laughs> Wait, what? Snow Ride's Poison Bite? No, I don't remember that one. Oh. There's a... I can show you the world. Shining. Terrible. Ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she shook her head, probably because she couldn't speak. They started singing. They sand yo ho and sexting. And when they were done, Jay asked. He just sort of he didn't ask anything. He just asked. Yeah, Jay asked the void. Yeah, like if if they were to show his dialogue, it would be quotation mark question mark mm-hmm. quotation. <laughs> All right, Claire. Do you know the words to be witched? She shook her head, and he continued. Good. Would you like to sing it with us? Uh, I think this person thinks shaking their head means nodding. No, no, it's a classic thing. Remember there was a story where someone shook their head yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. She shook her head yes and nodded her head no. Yeah, she's shaking her head yes. How do you fuck that up? I just like that. It's just like, do you know the words to be witch? No. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Sing it with us anyway. Sadly, I do know the words to be (laughs) witch. Well, then you'll sing along with them. Well, fortunately, they don't sing. Her eyes oh. whined, and she shook her head yes again. <laughs> God damn it. Doubling down. Yeah. Good. Well, you already said that. <laughs> and they started singing. When they were done, they both kissed Claire on the cheek and licked her, I think, and let Ew. her down on my... <laughs> She's like, I'll never wash my face again. Yeah, I'm breaking up with you, Claire. Yeah. You got licked by Davi Vanity. I can't step to that. Was it worth that. it? Yeah. yeah. She goes home and just, like, gets a blow dryer just so she can seal it. Their saliva onto her face. Oh, God. And licked her, I think, and let her down onto my shoulders and announced that the concert was over and advised us to... <laughs> let her down onto my shoulders? Yeah, they gently, gingerly placed her Are they the standing, like... Is the stage, like, ten feet tall? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh... Alright, so this oh, is yeah. what they advised us to. I don't... You can say it. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the road, fuckers! Good night! Actually, don't you mean keep your eyes on the road fuckers? Oh yeah, keep your eyes on the road fuckers! Presume you better rubber you better rubber deck that couple that's that's going at it in the car by the road. God damn it, John Lennon. Yeah. Or actually who who was it who wrote Why Don't We Do It in the Road? Was that a Lennon or was that a McCartney? I actually don't remember. I don't know. I'm a fairly big Beatles fan, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now who wrote Why Don't We Do It in the Road. Embarrassing. Also, uh I feel a little Guilty for mentioning the Beatles and uh, when we've been mentioning the <laughs> shittiest bands we could think of. <laughs> and then walked off stage. Claire and I started walking and I asked if she had a good time and she replied. Uh, of course, it was amazing. And I just smirked. The, the classic <laughs> fan fiction maneuver, just smirk at everything. I just smirked. This was fun. Hopefully we get to do this again. I'm sorry as we get an uh, author's note that said, I'm definitely not continuing this time. <laughs> Okay, guys, I actually went to a Blood on the Dance Floor concert, and so that's inspired this, but I'm definitely not doing this again. Well, that's because they know they'll go to the next round of Blood on the Dance Floor concerts. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, we get to finish at Chapter 3, telling bullies off. Oh, the bullies get bullied. Oh, man, they're going to get bullied so hard. Yeah, I hope they do a Whoa. sick... I hope they lift weights for a couple months a day, and then they come in with a sick blood on the dance floor intro to kick their asses. Yeah, yeah, they're going to come in to... I'm a monster. I can't... Yeah, I can't name any blood on the dance floor that, That's a blood on the dance floor song. I'm a monster. Yeah. That'll play. And then they're they're going to rap it while beating the bullies up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or sing it. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we've got Epov again. Is this common? 
Is this common in Degrassi to do like Eli Pov as Epov? Yeah, it's the accepted nomenclature. Right, right. Before we could pull out of the parking lot, Davi and Jay came up to our car and tapped on Claire's window. She looked like she was about faint, but she rolled down the window. <laughs> she she was almost faint. She she was overheating from the concert. She didn't get enough water. Uh, she was on the verge of passing out. She probably should have been driven to the hospital. And then they're about to have this like really surreal conversation. I just did yeah, this is surreal skinny. as hell. Imagine going to a concert and then the person heads out to the general parking lot and just taps on someone's car. Yeah. Uh, they're like, "Do you know why I pulled you over?" <laughs> Hey, Claire Bear, I didn't know this was your car. (laughs) Smooth. (laughs) Is this the equivalent of, oh, hi, I didn't see you there? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, (laughs) it knocks on the door. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was your house. I was just uh, looking for a house to uh, make a phone call from. Yeah. Mind if I come in? (laughs) (laughs) She's like, why don't you just use your cell phone? It's like, I don't have one with me right now. Oh, maybe this Can chapter is about in? Eli. <laughs> maybe this chapter is about Eli telling Davi and Jay off because, like, that's weird. Yeah, Claire looked like she would be screaming if that wasn't embarrassing. Didn't stop her before. Yeah, and she answered, "It's not. It's Eli's." Yeah. Wait. Just is a Claire in the driver's seat. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize this is your car. It's not. It's his car. Unless you're in the driver's seat. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say, but also... It's just a weird response, yeah. too. Like I said, this conversation yeah. is surreal. Yeah. Uh, Davi looked confused. Then he looked at me and looked shocked. Like, this is the first time he was seeing me. <laughs> what the fuck? They, they placed her on his shoulders. Did they Did they just think they were dropping her off the stage? And he? They thought he was a security guard. Yeah. That's what he gets for going to the concert in, like, you know, a, an all-black hat and sunglasses. It's like they almost did to her what they do to all the people who try to get up and, like, get crowd-surfed, yeah. where they get pushed to the front and then the people just escort them out because it's like, don't fucking do that. Yeah. And then, um... <laughs> you got to sing with us, now get the fuck out. Oh, uh, how, how appropriate that I referenced I'm a monster. Oh. Are you a monster? <laughs> and I was confused. What the fuck was he talking about? Wow, speaking for me. Yeah, Claire laughed. Guess but only B- BOTDF fans would understand. <laughs> I don't usually listen to them, just a few songs. Wow. Yeah. I listen to the good songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are real solid songs. Like uh, Sexting. <laughs> I frowned at them and then turned on some classic Miles Davis, which the music of today would never even hope to achieve. Yeah. I, I, wait a minute. mastery of. I thought Eli was the one who walked in and was like, whoa, she listens to Bull in the Dance Floor? That's so cool. And I was like, uh, I'm not really what you call a fan. I mean, there's a couple songs <laughs> yeah, that yeah. are okay. But... I guess maybe he was more like, whoa, these are pretty explicit lyrics and I want to do explicit things to her. Yeah, He, uh, he just backpedaled. <laughs> yeah, super hard. Yeah, it's just like, oh, I love Bull in the Dance Floor. I mean, by, by that, I mean I like a couple songs. And, we'll go like, to the reviews, and there will be a ton of reviews on Chapter 1. Like, Eli would never be a Blood on the Dance Floor fan. Yeah, and so now and he's now he's just like, oh, you know, I, here's a song uh, or know, two. I listen to them sometimes, yeah. I, I got a couple, you know, there's songs that shows up in my, like, Spotify radio, and I, listen, I don't skip it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Claire added them, <laughs> but... Let's see. Do haters make you famous? Jay asked that. I probably Why would you ask a random book. <laughs> Why would you ask a random person that? Hey, Connor, do haters make you famous? <sighs> hey, Blake, if you and I are ever, you know, when we meet up and we go talk to some random guy, can we not just say random steel donut in jokes at them and then laugh <laughs> that they don't get it? Yeah, because that's what they're doing. They're they're just spinning BTOF references at, at this guy, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, you know, like... What if I was Tariz? Ha 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 ha. I know. Yeah, no, you, you wouldn't yeah. understand what that was. I wouldn't expect yeah. you to, but I did that anyway. Yeah, you and I ride around. Uh, we hop into my pickup truck um, and we like drive down the road. We drive up to someone and we and we say, hey, you kids need a rid? Yeah, hey, kids, you need a rid? And, the, and, yeah. and they like call the police and we're like, wait a minute, you don't understand. And wait, we- do you have skin like snake, mouth like a mouse? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get it. <laughs> and and then they they just we have to get our mug shots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're confused mainly that we're getting arrested. <laughs> it's like don't you guys get these great jokes? <laughs> yeah. Jay, let's leave him alone. 
Anyways, we wanted to ask you if you wanted to come to the after party? Uh, Clear shook her head really fast. Shook her head, yes, so fast. <laughs> and I laughed. <laughs> shook her head so fast she almost took off like a helicopter. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha There's something funny yeah. about that. Why do people laugh at things that aren't funny? Yeah. Well, what else would you do in oh. this situation? Oh, I also, we missed the prime opportunity when the police come to arrest us and they said, we heard that you, uh, yeah. you, uh, you oh, know, yeah. tried to offer a ride to some kids. We'll be like, nah, man, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't happen. It just didn't happen. <laughs> awesome. Uh, come with us. Also, I just realized that to any new viewer who's watching this video, right, we exactly. just did that to them. Exactly. You're in Eli's <laughs> shoes here. Yeah, viewer who's, if this is your first or, you know, just one of your first Steel Donut videos, we just yeah, did that yeah. to you. We just threw in jokes at you that you don't understand. Yeah, did you like it? No. You did. Does Eli <laughs> like it? No. <laughs> so, awesome. Come with us. Claire jumped out of the car and turned towards me, silently asking me with her eyes if this was okay. I laughed and jumped out of the car. <laughs> Not before grabbing Morty's <laughs> keys. Wait, so it's not your car either? It's Morty's car. <laughs> if I brought my girlfriend to a Blood on the Dance Floor concert and the singer came up to our car afterwards and asked her to come to the after party and she just jumped out of the car and then looked back at me, I'd probably reach over, close the door, put the car in drive and drive away. Yes. Because she's not my girlfriend anymore. Yeah. It's Mr. Steel Yo Girl. Damn, Davi is Mr. Steel Yo Girl. Yeah, exactly. And I left, jumped out of the car, not before grabbing Morty's keys, and followed them. They took us to a limo, and we stepped in, and Jay said, uh, Be very careful not to spill anything on the upholstery. We we, were all, we can only rent yeah. this for tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can only rent this for the 30 minutes it takes us to get to the after party. <laughs> Take us to the party, please. The limo driver <laughs> didn't say a word, just started driving. We arrived about 10 minutes later, and they jumped out. Davi helped clear out, and then held the door open for me. Oh, what a gentleman. Oh, nice. Yeah. I thanked him and he just nodded. I guess he is okay with the boyfriend coming along. Yeah. Wow, Davi's Davi's nicer than I thought. No. Oh man. I love this when authors have no idea how to get a conversation to a certain point, so they just drive it straight there. <laughs> yeah. So Claire Bear, you're pretty popular, right? Um, no, not really. You kidding? Claire, you're awesome. Why the <laughs> fuck are you not popular? <laughs> <laughs> how, how me a, how me a Davi learned English? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me am English. <laughs> Thanks, Davi. And I guess because people think I'm weird, I'm not skinny like the other girls. I'm not. Yeah. So, so the thing that makes her weird is she's not skinny. Yeah, yeah. She didn't get a chance to continue. Jay interrupted. <laughs> Wait, so now they're not going to the after party. There's just going to be like yeah, a, no. a bunch of groupies waiting for Blood on the Dance Floor, and they're not going to come. Yeah, no, no. Taking care of this one girl's feelings is more important than, you know, the after party of being a successful band. I was going to say rock band, but, you know, I should have probably been questionable about successful as well. Yeah, probably. Being a band? That people do go to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Limo driver, take us to. Claire, where do the people live that are mean to you live? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pardon me, think maybe you could repeat that? <laughs> Good. Uh, We're gonna go on a revenge spree. Yeah, I love that. We're gift. blood on the dance floor. We can get away with whatever we want. She looked shocked, but answered. I probably looked even more shocked than her. You know, I everyone had their high school bully. Did you know where their house was? I did because like, my my bully like beating people up away from his house. He, he really liked that at home feeling. So he would make me come to his house, and then he would beat me up in his own front yard, and then I would have to go home. Oh, okay. Well, I guess Dobby Vanity could have helped you, but me like yeah, everyone <laughs> has their high school bullies. You know, the people who are an asshole to you, people who are a dick to you. Maybe some people do have high school bullies that actually physically harm them, and I'm so sorry to hear that. But do you know where they live? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you heard her. Take us there. We arrived at Jenna's house. All right, so is this, is this the author's actual bully or something? Because <laughs> the, it's Fucking weird how they Jenna. left out the part where she gave the address. <laughs> we arrived at Jenna's house, which had a party going on. 
Guan. Guin. <laughs> yeah. There were people outside, and when they saw the limo pull up, they started freaking out, and a few went inside and got Jenna. We got out, and Dobby asked, <laughs> Which one is mean to you, Claire, baby? <laughs> Which one is mean to you, Claire, baby? <laughs> Which one is mean to you, Claire, baby? <laughs> she looked really shocked, but pointed at <laughs> Jenna. They looked at her for a second, then walked up to Jenna. <laughs> So you're the bitch that thinks it's okay to be mean to our girl Claire? Jenna looked scared, but she nodded. <laughs> you are an ugly bitch, and I'm not talking about your looks, because honestly, you're beautiful, Call but me. your attitude changes everything. Jenna just nodded. It's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and can't yeah. argue with that. <laughs> I know. I, that's why I'm so beautiful, so I can be a, such a douchebag and get away with it. <laughs> that's the way the world works. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> They love me because I'm beautiful. No. Jenna just nodded and looked at Claire, but Davi spoke. No, you do not look at her. You don't talk to her. You don't even think about her. Got it? Yeah. You need to completely write her out of your life. You shouldn't ever let a bully take all of your focus, which is why we completely ditched our own after party <laughs> yeah. to come and diss her right to her face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> This is going to be more embarrassing afterwards. Jenna's going to have more material to disclare with. She showed up with the shitty uh, fucking MySpace band. Who wow, you got some fucking MySpace band to try to come who, back you up? Who gave like, me... That's fucking pathetic, yeah, Claire. Who gave me uh, what uh, a, a term that Bob coined in Ink Smudge, a front-handed insult. He talked to me like they were my dad and then just left? Because you have backhanded compliments compliments so here they're yeah. insulting her but they said you're beautiful they gave her a front-handed yeah. insult <laughs> you're beautiful but you've just got a crappy personality and and i'm davi vanity i'm all about the personality yeah davi vanity is a very deep person he's he's not at all superficial that's why whenever they <laughs> perform they always wear very simple humble clothing and they don't do anything crazy with their hair or anything they're like right. they, they, they make the guys from like grunge bands look like panic at the disco Right, right. Like, they literally just show up in fucking rags, like hobos. You would see Davi Vanity purchasing groceries at just a regular grocery store in his regular clothes earlier that day, and you'd know it was him. Yeah. <laughs> Davi Vanity is the people's artist. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, she nodded, and Jay spoke. Okay, let's get going. We just got let's Jenna. Get... Now we have to go after that guy named Goin. Juan. We have an after party to get to. <laughs> yeah. We started walking to the limo, and I noticed Claire smiling really big, and I realized that I was smiling too. I hated Jenna because she was always so mean to Claire, so to have her get told off was extremely amazing. <laughs> oh, oh. God. All right, so in the first chapter, they said there it definitely won't be continued, and it was continued. So for the, yeah, yeah. the third chapter, they said, the next chapter will be the after party. Please review. Bye now. No, no fourth chapter. See, that's still on its law. They say there's going to be a next chapter, so you know there won't be. Yeah. They say they'll never continue it, so you know they will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that was 16. Uh, we have some reviews. We have seven reviews. Yeah. Starting the with... first one... St oh, go ahead. Uh, Kagomi Hi uh, Higurashi said, Please write some more. It's good. Little Angel 158, one word to describe this story. Ew and cute, lol. I believe you mean ew. Because you got to use extra vowels to imply a held out sound. You use extra consonants, it's ew. Lizzie the Rose said, I honestly do not like the fact Davi is mean to people, but it didn't bother me in the story. XD. What? It, is that like a, you didn't characterize Davi right? He's yeah. the nicest, sweetest, donates all his money to charity kind of person. Or is that like, I didn't like wow, that Davi was nice Davi... in the story because he's a dick in real life. <laughs> uh, okay. L, it, Eli and Claire in love. Oh, I wonder <laughs> how they thought about this. Uh, aw, I was smiling through the entire thing. Could you imagine this actually happening? Claire would probably die. Just die. Can't wait to see what happens at the after party. Yeah, if this actually happened, I would call the fucking police. <laughs> call, call the police. <laughs> this was really cute. I can totally see this happening with Claire. Her being assaulted? Yeah, I mean, I guess it could happen to anyone, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, making french fries in the snow. Weird. Good, good name. <laughs> 
LMFAO BOTDF is all right. <laughs> oh, God, the LMFAO and BOTDF crossover song. Yeah. Ma- yeah. I liked that song in Candyland, but I'm more of a metalcore gal. Fun fic, though. Well, then you'll like that one metalcore EP that Blood on the Dance Floor released. <laughs> yeah. For some reason. <laughs> and then the dot ocean dot shadow. Um, one of my favorite vaporwave groups. Yeah, uh, yeah. Said, lol, that's hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 They, they oh, laughed God, for minutes so until fun. someone grabbed their arms and said, are you done? <laughs> yeah, are you done? <laughs> Finally. And then they both laughed. Some more. Yeah. And then All they, right. And then they went to see Blood on the Dance Floor, and they tapped on the door and they said, hey, Clear Bear. That was a great combination of Degrassi and Blood on the Dance Floor. A match made in hell. A, a, a totally <laughs> normal everyone acting totally normal. You know, Eli acting totally normal when he just storms in and basically assaults Claire. Claire acting totally normal when she laughs for minutes on end. And says, yeah, Davi, I, it's okay, I, I, I don't mind being assaulted. Davi and Jay acting totally normal when they walk out to the general admission parking lot and I guess start... Normally, don't don't they let the groupies come to them? It sounded like the two had to try and hunt for groupies <laughs> to invite to the after come party. Come on, we really want this after party. If they didn't do that, no one else would have come to the after party. Yeah, they had to they had to go try to find people themselves. That's pretty sad if you think about it. Yeah, man, it's probably what they got to do in real life. It's like, woo, we'll be heading to a sick after party. Anyone, please, we'll, we'll pay for your first drink. Hello, anyone? Come please? On. The Applebee's is open till midnight. Yeah, yeah, we'll head to Chili's. We can get a group appetizer. Jay and I'll pay. Anyone? Man, Chili's no. is really good ribs, at least around here. Yeah, app. Uh, yeah, Applebee's is where Blood on the Dance Floor would have to go. Now I'm just getting hungry. <laughs> All right, so with that, I think we'll close this Degrassi Blood on the Dance Floor saga, and you never have to think about Blood on the Dance Floor ever again. Yeah. If you like this and you want to suggest other things for us to review, you know, you can leave that in the comments, you can message us, email us, or join our Discord. You can request stories there and hang out with people. Every once in a while we do games and all sorts of fun stuff, so make sure you check that out. 